Priscilla Ward, I'm your township clerk, and today we're here to talk about the primary election, which is right around the corner on July 7th, Tuesday, July 7th. Um, our polls open at 6 a.m. and they close at 8 p.m. Because of the pandemic, we are asking all of the voters to please vote by mail. It will be more convenient for you and it will be a lot safer for everybody. By now, most of you have received your vote by mail ballot. We are encouraging all of our residents to vote by mail. Um, all of Middlesex County is actually encouraging all their residents to vote by mail, not just Old Bridge. Um, it's a safe way to vote for you and the poll workers. Um, it's a little different this year. Uh, we're encouraging everybody to, to drop in their ballot and have it postmarked by July 7th, by Election Day. Okay? Um, however, if you choose to go to the polls to vote, there will be some polls open. We normally have 19 polling places. There's only three polling places that are going to be opened. Um, if you choose to vote by them, you can. However, it's not voting as you usually are accustomed to. It's going to be by provisional ballot only for everyone. Um, the three locations are the Ellen McDermott Grade 9 Door 5 Center located at the high school, 4209 Route 516 Matawan. Um, for those of you who may not know exactly where that building is, as soon as you pull off 516, it's to your right. It's the smaller building on the right-hand side, door 5. Memorial School, located at 11 Eli Avenue in Lawrence Harbor, right off Lawrence, uh, Lawrence Harbor Parkway. Southwood Elementary School, located at 64 Southwood Drive in Old Bridge. All right, your polling location may have changed. As I said before, we had 19, now we're down to three. So of course, a lot of you, your polling locations have changed. Uh, you're gonna be getting a postcard from the county themselves. And now on that postcard, it's going to tell you which polling location you should go and vote. And why they're picking out your polling location is quite simple. We have, Old Bridge has two congressional districts. So it's a little different than most towns where you can go to each polling location. The ballots are different in those locations. So they have gone street by street that we have given them, and they have picked your voting location. Um, if uh, your postcard says Ellie, Ellie McDermott, that means that you are in Congressional District 6 and 12. Anyone that's in those districts can go. Um, but basically, that's all for the voting locations of Ward 2. Ward 2, all of you go to the Ellie McDermott Grade 9 Center to vote. Um, the Memorial School is only for the Congressional District 12. Anyone that's in Congressional District 12 is for Memorial School, except Ward 2. Ward 2, you go back to the Ellie McDermott School. Okay? Southwood Elementary School, that's for the 6th Congressional District. Everyone except Ward 2, all right? So if you're in Congressional District 6 and you're in Ward 2, you go back to the Ellie McDermott School. This will be very simple because the postcard is going to tell you where to go. It's a little difficult for me to explain and for you to understand because you'd be surprised a lot of residents don't even know that we have two Congressional Districts in Old Bridge. Most towns in um, Middlesex only have one. There's only two towns that have two congressional districts. So voting for us is a little different. All right. So as all you have to do is please remember if you are in Ward 2, also there is a council seat up in Ward 2 this year. So it's important that you go to the correct district to go to vote. Um, and that's the Ellie McDermott uh, School. Um, if you place it, if, you go, if you're voting by mail, of course you can just throw it in the, in the box and that's it. Okay. We are requesting that you all wear your mask to protect yourself when you go to the polling district. Our poll workers will be wearing masks, wearing gloves, and they will be giving you a pen to fill out your provisional ballot. Because as I said before, you're not voting on a machine. You're voting on provisional ballot. They will have pens there for you to use. Those pens are yours. They're brand new. As soon as you vote on them, you take them with you. We don't want them left there because the poll, the poll workers don't have time to sanitize all the pens. They'll be sanitizing the areas as you leave for the next voter to come in. Um, if you choose to bring in your own pen, that's fine, as long as it's black ink. Okay. Now, a lot of you have heard about drop boxes around town. And um, 
we, we don't have them in Old Bridge, only because we go back to our congressional districts. We have two. So it would be almost impossible for us to have a drop box and have the voters put the, their ballot in the correct box. So we, we decided not to have one. It would be too confusing. Um, as I said, you'll be receiving your postcards. It'll tell you which, po which polling place to go. And it should be relatively simple. Um, if you have any questions, call us. The clerk's office will guide you through, through the whole election, if necessary, on the phone. It's not as um, complicated as it seems, so give us a call. We'll be more than glad to help you. I ask that when you go to the polling places to please be mindful of the poll, the poll workers. All right, um, They're just as worried as some of you are, some of you aren't, some of you are. So they're wearing masks, they're going to have gloves, and they're going to be sanitizing. If you don't have a mask, they will give you a mask. Be, um, you know, social distance, be conscious of that, try to keep six feet from them. Um, there's going to be lots of tables, but they're going to be spaced apart. So try to work with the poll workers, all right? Um, we hope that everybody keeps safe. We hope that you come out to vote. If you don't vote by mail, please come out to vote, because it's important. Um, all the information that I've referred to just now, it sounds like it's a lot, but it really isn't. And we're going to have it up on the website. And as I said, you can call our office and we'll go through it with you. Thank you for listening. Stay well and safe.